fate has brought you here, John Carter. You may be the only one who can save us. I've spent most of my life as a fan. I mean, I read the book when I was 10, 11, and I just have been dying since then, every year going, maybe somebody will put it on the screen. I will buy a ticket, I will be the first one there. And uh, so I'm just thrilled that it's on the screen. I didn't know the books before. Um, the draw, at, at, at least initially, was basically Andrew Stanton. And uh, I knew the scope of the movie, and I hadn't done a movie like this. So that was uh, initially what attracted me. Now tell me about reteaming with Andrew, because uh, you were a fish, now you're a nine-foot alien. <laughs> Maybe next time it could be a human. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know, though. <laughs> Get that. Jeddak. Jeddak. Tars Tarkas. Tars is a leader of, a, he's a leader of a very warlike tribe, and they're a people that really, above all, celebrate power, aggression, <laughs> decisiveness. Tars remembers a time when they weren't like this, and it's not until he meets John Carter that he has an opportunity um, to think that he can, uh, he can express himself and, and make that change. That don't look like a fair fight. You are ugly, but you are beautiful. You will fight for us! I almost call it the Rosetta Stone of, of sci-fi adventure. I mean, it's, it's, it's really more a romantic adventure or explorer story than it is anything to do with space. It's just technically that it happens to be on Mars. You are on Barsoom, John Carter. Mars. I'm on Mars. What wasn't a challenge? My gosh, I mean, I think because we wanted such realism, such believability, and we really wanted to make you feel like you were truly out there, in the same way that if you watched a Western, you just wanted to feel like you're truly out there, that you're not in front of CG screens or anything like that. Uh, we had to go out into those environments. And the, because I really wanted you to believe that Taylor was talking to this nine foot tall forearm creature and they were really having a conversation uh, out of their gut and out of their soul looking at each other, I really needed actors on stilts standing with gray pajamas like right in front of them. Motion capture I had never done before. Uh, so that was a whole new process. It's interesting. It's very physical. I always respond to that. I, I like the fact that, for example, giving, uh, wearing the stilts has, gives me the perspective of a nine foot tall person. That's a big change. All of a sudden you're nine feet tall. You're playing all your scenes like this. I, that affects a big change, it, it's a shift. Did I not tell you he could jump? Some people think it's a intelligent, thoughtful movie with a message. Some people have just accepted it as uh, entertainment. You're just gonna, just gotta get ready for the ride.